Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at how we can access the images, the photographs, that we have been capturing on our mobile devices in Lightroom on our desktop. So I've launched Lightroom and I made sure that I was up to date with the latest version. You can do that by clicking on the Creative Cloud icon, going to your apps, and then making sure that Lightroom is up to date. Then we need to make sure that we have enabled syncing, so I will click on my Activity Center and make sure that I'm syncing with Lightroom Mobile. Then in the Catalog area, there is an entire menu item that's dedicated to all of the images that I have synchronized. So when I click on that, this includes all of the photographs that I've captured using Lightroom's camera capture experience or that I have imported into Lightroom from maybe something like the camera roll. It also includes any collections that I've created on the desktop and I have synchronized with Lightroom, but we'll talk about those in just a moment. So we can see here are all of the images that we've been working with in this view. Now if I move down to the folder view, you can see that not only do I have images on the internal hard drive here, but I have another header for the iPhone 7. And when I click in the folder, we can see all of the images that originated on that mobile device and have been imported into Lightroom. If I want to know where these images are, I can right click or control click on Mac and tell it to show in Finder. When I select that, Photoshop will show me where those images reside, and in fact, they're in the Pictures folder in the Lightroom folder. Now that's just the default location that Lightroom copies them when it uploads them from the mobile device to the cloud and then downloads them to your local version of Lightroom on your desktop machine. If you ever want to change that location, we actually have a preference under the Preferences, under Lightroom Mobile, you can specify a location for your Lightroom mobile images by just enabling that and then choosing a different location. I'm going to go ahead and leave that off for now. You can also see if there's any pending sync activity in this Lightroom mobile preference area. If I wanted to move the images at any time, say for example, I want to move the images that I photographed in San Jose to the San Jose folder, all I need to do is select the images through Lightroom on the desktop and then drag and drop them in order to move them into another folder. I want to make sure that I do that within Lightroom so that Lightroom knows that I'm moving those files as opposed to doing it behind Lightroom's back using the operating system. But you can see it's very easy to move files and organize them the way you want to. Now, I'll close the folder area so that we can take a look at the collections area. You can see there's a collection set here called From Lightroom Mobile. In this collection set, we can see all of the collections that we have been creating throughout this video series. They all appear within this collection set. And I didn't need to make this collection set. Lightroom Mobile and Lightroom Desktop created it for me so that I would know where all the collections are, all the work, basically, that I put into making and organizing my images on my mobile device. And they came over right here. If I make any changes to these collections, any changes that I make will be updated in the collections across my mobile devices. If I select one of these images and we move over to the Develop module, I want to point out that the changes that we made are listed under the History area, so I could always go back in time and remove them. But in this case, I prefer the changes, so I'll click back on the History State from Lightroom Mobile. I'll tap the G key in order to return to the grid view. And I want to also point out that all of the edits that we made and all of the different edit stacks on Lightroom Mobile have obviously been applied, as have all of the different star ratings. And if we move to the San Diego collection, and then select one of the images that I added a title and a caption to, if we look over in the metadata area, we can see not only the copyright, 
but also that caption and title. And this was the collection that we shared, so if I were to close the metadata panel and look underneath the comment area, if anyone had made comments on those images, this is where I would find them in Lightroom on the desktop. Finally, I want to point out that not only can I start on my mobile device taking photographs and have them automatically synchronized to Lightroom on the desktop, I can also go the other direction. I have a collection set called To Be Edited by Lightroom Mobile. These are all of the images that I want to synchronize and work on with Lightroom Mobile. By creating a collection and adding photos to that collection in Lightroom on the desktop, that enables me to simply click the little icon to the left of the collection in order to share that collection with Lightroom Mobile. As soon as I tap this, Photoshop will synchronize this folder full of images so that I can access it on my mobile device. When I synchronize my files from Lightroom on my desktop to Lightroom on mobile, Lightroom is going to automatically render what's called a smart preview of my RAW photo, and it's going to synchronize that smart preview to my mobile device. So it doesn't take the entire original RAW file that I have on my desktop and synchronize it. Instead, it's only synchronizing the smart preview. And smart previews are much smaller versions of those original RAW files, but they still retain all the flexibility of a RAW file, but at basically a fraction of the size. I'm telling you this because you need to know that when you synchronize a collection full of images to the cloud because you want to use them across your mobile devices, that's not a backup solution. You still need to back up your photographs in a different manner than just synchronizing them with Lightroom Mobile. So there you have it. As soon as these images are synchronized, they would then be accessible on my mobile device. And any changes that I make, regardless of if it's on the desktop or on the mobile device, those changes will be synchronized and keep each other up to date. So there you have it. How to access and synchronize your photographs from Lightroom on the desktop to your mobile devices and vice versa. My name is Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.